Okay, so this is one of the new features in Office uh, PowerPoint 365 where you can actually record video directly into your PowerPoint yourself and save it and publish it as a video file. So how do we go about it? Okay, well firstly you need to create your slides as you would in the old version of PowerPoint. There's no difference there, so importing any images, graphics, making any amends, uh, perhaps leaving a space in the top left or the top right hand side to put your, your video. You'll notice uh, when in one of the pictures that the slide video is at the bottom, but don't worry about that because you can actually move it around. So once you've actually created your slides, you can then go to the slideshow uh, tab at the top. And from there, once you click that, there's an option then to actually record the narration or the video and attach it to your slides. So going on from that, this is the sort of screen you will appear when you actually click on that. You'll see that we've got the slide image in the background. Uh, we've got a little thumbnail down the bottom there of myself, or it'd be yourself in this instance. And at the bottom, you can just see a microphone icon and a video camera icon. If you don't want to include video, then you just click the camera icon and it will turn that off and it will just get a sound narration. So once you're ready, you'll click that and then the program will actually then count you down to actually start recording. So here we are with the main screen. The red button top left is your press your button to actually start recording. Uh, left and right arrows go forwards or backwards. And then also you've got the stop button at the top there and the replay button. And then down the bottom, as I said, you've got the sort of image of yourself so you can adjust yourself in the screen. And then you've got the ability to turn the microphone on or off. So you just proceed from there through your presentation, recording your text for each one. Make sure you don't talk when you're trying to transition between slides though because PowerPoint records the image and narration on each slide and attaches it as an object. So again we don't have another blank slide but you can see that the layout in general. Nothing much else to say about that. I think we've discussed most of it already. Uh, if you do make a mistake when you're recording in any of your slides, just press the stop button in the, in the top uh, left there and it will stop at that slide and then you can restart from that slide. You don't have to go back to slide one and start again. So that's a novel feature. The timings of the presentation when it's finished and saved are down to the recorded images per slide. So it works out roughly how many seconds you spend on each slide. So that's actually pretty good. So. As I said earlier, when you're talking on the slides, only talk when the slide is displayed on the screen. Do not talk when trying to transition between the slides because PowerPoint cuts off and then starts a new video recording on the next slide. Anything between the two is lost and you'll have to do it again. Uh, when you get to the end, you'll just get a screen that gives you the usual PowerPoint end of screen show. And that's basically it, you've done your recording. Once you've finished, obviously you won't want a screen recording of you in the bottom right hand corner. You can actually drag that little video around and put it in different places. My only advice there would be to try and keep it in the same place throughout your presentation. That way you're not jumping around all over the screen. Because when you go to the next slide, your image video might appear somewhere else, which can look a bit amateur, basically. <laughs> 